The Blue Nebula guitar pedal has two memory banks which contain the pedal's 16 effect programs, 8 effects in each bank. The 8 programs in the first bank, MEM1, are set in the factory and cannot be changed. The 8 programs in MEM2 are also programmed in the factory but they can be changed to a custom set of effects using the MemBuilder app, as described in this video. I will assume you have already downloaded and unzipped the MemBuilder app to a folder on your hard drive. There is a link in the description below where you can download MemBuilder if you don't already have it. You will also need to have downloaded the MemBuilder effect files that you wish to upload to MEM2. Double click the app to run it. Here is the list of factory installed programs in MEM2. In this tutorial we are going to replace the Reverb plus Tremolo program with a new Spring plus Tremolo program which emulates a Spring Reverb and includes an improved Tremolo effect. I do not want to change the other seven programs, so I will load each into its respective slot in MEM2 and just change slot 6 to the new Spring plus Tremolo program. Click the Load Effect button, browse to where you saved the effect files and choose the required effect. Once it is loaded into MemBuilder, you will see the full description of the effect and the labels that will be shown on the Blue Nebula LCD screen that correspond with the P1, P2 and P3 knobs. You now choose the required slot for this effect program from the drop-down list and click the Assign button to assign the effect to that slot. Repeat this process with each effect program, assigning each to its correct slot. When all the slots have been assigned you can save the list of effect files by clicking the Save Project button, giving the file a suitable name, I am calling my file MEM2-Spring. Click Save and note that the MemBuilder will append the .mbp extension to show this is a MemBuilder project file. If, later, you wish to change some of the effects. You can click the Load Project button to reload this file so you don't need to start again from scratch. Now we click the Save Build button, to prepare the files required by the Blue Nebula Librarian. I'm going to call my file MEM2 with Spring. Note that the MemBuilder creates two files with this name, one with a .hex extension which contains the DSP code, and the other with the .lbl extension. This contains the labels which will be displayed on the Blue Nebula's LCD screen when the effects are loaded. You now need to use the Librarian app to upload the new code to your Blue Nebula's MEM2 memory bank. If you need help with using the librarian to upload the DSP code, 
Click on the link in the description below to watch a tutorial video. Thank you for watching.